Hi, my name is Jack Levy on the Board of Trustees from the Alliance for International Education. The Alliance has been at the forefront of international education for over 20 years, conducting biannual conferences, developing partnerships, producing publications and presentations on all aspects of the field. This talk is the first in a virtual series that the Alliance will sponsor leading up to our next on-site world conference in 2025. The theme of the conference is educating for peace and social justice, the role of international education. I think we can agree that given the recent intense and violent events throughout the world, our focus on this topic is crucial and timely. So we invite you to join us as we share some thoughts about the imperative issues affecting international education. In this first episode, I'd like to briefly describe some of the dramatic occurrences over the last five years and how they've expanded the concept of international education to include all types of contexts and how the Alliance has expanded its vision and its mission in step with this evolution. Clearly, the wars in the Middle East and in Europe have already had a, a definite effect on international education curriculum, teaching, and learning. Other events and trends include the worldwide pandemic, the significant movement of migrants between countries, the changes in the concept of democracy, where you have some states and some governments moving towards more autocratic, autocratic regimes. And then the increasing tension between the developed and underdeveloped countries, the, the haves and the have-nots. The Alliance has astutely corresponded to these intense developments by strengthening the diversity of its partnerships, policies, and practices. Our commitment is seen in our vision and our mission statements. Briefly, our vision states, the Alliance is a catalyst for peace and social justice through international education. And our mission, the Alliance for International Education brings together individuals and institutions in order to advance intercultural understanding, global awareness, and social justice through international education. So we're starting our virtual series with a focus on context because international education doesn't only take place, quote, abroad in international schools. When we think about a definition of international education, we often envision programs that take place overseas. But in fact, international education takes place at home and abroad. Each one includes the basic features, the interaction of students from different cultural backgrounds working together in an educational settings, but they take place in different uh, places, different settings, and the students in each one often differ in terms of ethnicity, in terms of social class, religion, and other characteristics. Now, the programs in both places are similar in that students are being acculturated to a new society or a new culture, and they focus on language, intercultural competence, academics, and community engagement, but they're different as to the nature of the migration to the community. Where countries have incorporated migrants, the newcomers generally start at the bottom of the economic and social uh, ladder. For example, because of the intense migration patterns caused by war and disruption, some countries have established schools targeted specifically toward refugees and recent migrants. The Alliance has featured presentations by representatives from Amala, an example, an organization, I'm gonna quote from its website, an organization that, quote, runs the first secondary level program and qualification designed with and for refugee youth. You can Google Amala, A-M-A-L-A, -A -A, to access its website. I, I guarantee you will not be disappointed and I'm sure you'll be inspired. 
There are also numerous bilingual, multilingual, ESL, and second language programs that address the learning needs of immigrants. Further, the International Baccalaureate Organization has partnered with hundreds, probably thousands, of public schools throughout the world to offer the diploma, middle, and primary year programs. Those attending our 2025 on-site global conference, and I hope you will join us, We'll hear from educators from every type of international education program, both, quote, home and, quote, abroad. The upcoming virtual presentations in this series will also highlight some of these programs and policies. So when we think about international education, it's, ordered, it's important to understand the complexity of the field and the characteristics of the setting in which it's being implemented. I encourage you to think about the content that you're most familiar with and consider contributing a brief talk or paper to this series as well as to the global conference in 2025. We especially welcome presentations by teachers and other international educators on any topic or any aspect of their practice. Examples may be curriculum. Uh, teaching and learning strategies, family and community engagement, evaluation, or any other relevant topic. For more information, please go to our website. You can Google Alliance for International Education. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you very soon.